Hi, I'm Phil. Today we're making Safina hot sauce. I eat poop. <laughs> got me, got me good. <laughs> Hey, this is a problem that nobody has. Do you have some <laughs> leftover sofrito made by Goya? Goya that we've been trying to reach? I do. We're gonna make hot sauce out of it because it's made out of peppers, onions, cilantro, and garlic and oil, and that's like, that sounds like a hot sauce to me. You just add peps. So we got some garden peps. We got Cheddar Kev over here. He's gonna chop the peps. He's a pepper chopping machine. And here they are. They're homegrown jalapenos, a mix of green and red. The red ones have been extra aged in air. And this one's just a little brown. Kind of there. Stale inside air. Antique air. Antique air. A nice vintage. So take it away, Kev. You don't have to chop them up so much because we're gonna blend it. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Kevin begins the rough chop. We'll return once he's completed this arduous task that we appreciate him doing. Yeah, boy! Woo! All right, here I got some sofrito. I'm just gonna throw it in the pan. And you know, we're good value folks, and we're gonna rinse out it with some water. Get every last bit of that Goya goodness. Oh boy, uh, it's gotta be a Goya. All right, probably four ounces plus some water. Here's the peps. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, we're gonna cook this down. It's gonna be spicy, no problem. I got this shitty bent pan, also no problem. So we'll let that cook. We're gonna add other things. We're gonna add vinegar. This is apple cider vinegar. About two tablespoons. Wow, that's maybe more. <laughs> few tablespoons. <laughs> Whoopsie diddle. Okay, we're gonna add some lime juice too, but maybe at the end. I don't really like to cook lime juice very much. I think I just need some sweetness. So I'm gonna add some brown sugar. This is an improvised hot sauce. People are into that shit these days. Improvised beers and who, kn who the f knows how. <laughs> I mean, you know what, maybe some more tomato sauce because I have the can open. Yeah, it looks great. Y'all are laughing, I think it's gonna be really good. It smells great. I think I put too much vinegar in. Whatever. Let that cook down. Uh, maybe like 15 minutes or so. We'll be back. <coughs> All right, here's our sofrito. Cooked down with peps. Probably gonna taste a lot like the last sauce we made. I learned this last time. You remember when we made like that million, those like 20 bottles of fermented hot sauce and I tried one and then I couldn't taste anything? This is the same deal. I don't know how people do it. They add limes to this one for sure. One lime, juice of one lime. Kevin said that limes are a friend to the people. Unlike lemons. Unlike lemons. Are you team lemon or are you team lime? Kids. I'm on no one's side because no one is on my side. I speak for the trees. I'm not saying one's better than another. Have some salt. Limes are better for humans because they don't have seeds. Mm. This is going to be brownish. Actually, it just looks sofrito color. So Frito. What if you? What if we had Fritos and we dipped them in sofrito? That would be something. That smells good. Give it a taste. Oh yeah, that's good. It's got all the sofrito flavors, but it's spicy and it's a sauce. I'm gonna thin that one out for sure. You wanna try? Delicious. That's really good. Let's add a little water. We're gonna put it in another squeeze bottle. This would be great on Puerto Rican food. <laughs> or tacos. Tacos would be good too. Tell you what, it's been an interesting experiment. And there we go. I'm gonna put that on a chip. All right. Goya so free. That's, that's how you do it. Let's eat it on a chip. Let's eat it on a chip. Oh, f Tastes good. Came out fast. Ooh. Not bad. Thanks, Goya. Thanks, Goya. Okay, bye. Boy, you're good.